Uh, superb, actually. Well happy, well happy. Um, so today I've done some work on it already, and today I'm paint with some methylated spirit. Um, a really light sand with like uh, 5,000 grit paper. And then primed it in white primer. Um, and you can still see, you can see like the bone, where we sculpted the texture of the bone. It's printed out in the resin. Really uh, happy with this level of detail to be fair. Now you can just see inside where we've got like the signature. Um, so it's had an undercoat of white and the top coat is this which apparently um, dries like, oh, there you go, it says it dries like silver leaf. So that, I think that's probably gonna be the closest we're gonna get to an actual <coughs> kind of metal looking finish. I'm still trying to find someone who could make a mold from this and maybe like cast it in silver or something which I, I get would be super expensive, but would kind of still be a cool project to think about. Um, so yeah, this is kind of really the first piece, my first digital fashion piece. Um, something that I've, that's like wearable in, in augmented reality and real life. That's kind of the route I'm heading down at the moment. Um, there's going to be three versions of these. Going to do this mirror silver one. We're going to do gloss black. Um, we're going to do a holographic. And then the other ring we made, which is similar, just a slightly different vertebrae design. That's going to be the next print in the same set of colors. And then I'm also um, going to get some sunglasses done, but that's proving to be a little bit more technical, getting sizes right and stuff. And we've got, I've got to make the hinges as well, which is needs some time uh, thinking about. But for now, um, let's crack on. This was like, I think it was 14 quid for this pot. But honestly, the photos I've seen of people who've used it before, um, it looks very impressive when it's dry. So I'm hoping it's worth the money, but I think this will actually go quite a long way. Um, I always find for some reason, metallic paints seem to get a lot of like life out of them, you know? All right, so. I don't want to waste any. There's loads under straw now. goes on very nice. I'll keep this first top coat fairly thin. Uh, nothing worse than f filling up detail with paint that's too thick.
actually goes on quite strange. It's got like a weird consistency to it. 